Good morning, everybody. It is time to get you caught up in the world of motorsports, brought to you by the place that will be the busiest place in Iowa for the next two weekends as racing invades uh, Newton, Iowa here Friday and Saturday this week and Friday and Saturday next week. More details on that coming up here in just a little bit. Let's keep it local here and start off with action from the Dale de France Bill Davis Memorial. This happened on Thursday, the 11th, uh, over at Marshalltown Speedway. Jeff Akey ends up winning in the modifies. Brayton Carter wins in the sport. Mods and Dylan Rafferty uh, wins in the mod lights at that event. We continue on with more happenings over at Marshalltown as we take a look and show you who won the uh, hobby stock division. Eric Stanton wins there. Todd Reitzler wins in the stock car division and Jeff Akey wins in the late models there as well. There is Daryl DeFrance. You see Dale DeFrance, his dad, is what this race was all about. So congratulations to everybody and their performances last Thursday over in Marshalltown. Boone Speedway had a chance to do some racing on a Saturday. A lot of things going on over at Boone. Gustin wins. Also, our Brandon uh, also wins in the sport mod. Joe Huggins uh, wins in the mod light. So congratulations to all those folks in the hobby stocks, stock cars, and sprint cars. You see your winners there from um, Boone Speedway on Saturday. And they had another division that was there. This was the Outlaw Mini Mods. And there are your winners from the Outlaw Mini Mods. So Boone was a happen in place on Saturday. Uh, speaking of happen in places, another incredibly busy place was Knoxville Race we taking a look at the uh, the Pro Series. The 305s is what we refer to them uh, in the past, but Mike Johnson wins the drag race into turn one over uh, Devin Wignall from Altoona. Uh, take a look here as an, uh, Matthew Stelzer uh, from, the, uh, from uh, uh, Nebraska sales are on Johnson for the lead here. Great job out of him. He leads the final seven laps around the uh, circuit uh, there. Half mile clay oval there at Knoxville Raceway. Fifth win of his season, 12th of his career, becoming first on the all-time win list. Listen to him here. You can hear him like the Gibbons over at the zoo. Congratulations uh, to Matthew for winning the event over at Knoxville Raceway. Now we're going to go over and look at the 410 sprint cars. A couple of feature races here. AJ Moeller uh, starts on the pole, dashes to the early lead. But take a look at the 2M of Kerry Madsen. He started in the sixth row and didn't waste any time marching toward the lead. Madman takes over the lead. Now Brian Brown was right on his rear bumper here, uh, just very relentless. But the madman hangs on and wins the race. Uh, that's feature number one. There's Kerry there. Congratulations with the uh, Marion County Fair Queen. Now they had a makeup race from June 22nd when rains came and stopped everything. Litton Jeffrey uh, from Prairie City uh, taking the point here. Brian Brown in the 21 side by side. There's the henchman racers going at it toe to toe and elbow to elbow. Brownie on the inside finds the moisture, slides way up high, hangs onto it here, and then just cruises on, puts it on autopilot, and takes home the victory. Uh, Three-second lead and win number five of the season, career win number 49 for Brian Brown. There's Heather there, uh, there too. There's the results from the first race we talked about. Kerry wins. Brian finished in second in that race, so congratulations to everybody there uh, for that event, the makeup feature from June 22nd. Brownie wins that one. Justin uh, Henderson uh, finished in second in that one too, so congratulations to everybody that was involved there. Now, uh, also want to show you uh, Clint Garner wins in the 360 division. Those guys had a chance to run as well. So it was a full night over at Knoxville Raceway. So there's Matthew Stelzer and his woo. You think about that when you see that picture. So good job out of him. And that's a lot of fun just to go out to Knoxville, especially when there's nonstop action like that. Now something else that is going on involving Knoxville Raceway. I want to make sure that you know about coming up on Friday. The Rock and Prevention Golf Classic is going to be happening. One of the most popular drivers at Knoxville is McKenna Hassey, and she has a very special message for you. McKenna Hassey here. I think I'll be the fastest driver at the Rock and Prevention Golf Classic at Blank Golf Course, Friday, July 19th. Come on out and help some kids and see if you can keep up with me. The 13th annual Rock and Prevention Golf Classic at Blank Golf Course, Friday, July 19th, with an 11 a.m. shotgun start. Registration starts at 9.30 a.m., dinner at 5, with a really fast and terrific speaker. Have fun, help some kids. Rock and Prevention. 
Yeah, so McKenna's going to be speaking there. She'll talk about that. She'll talk about American Ninja Warrior, talk about the movie she just got done completing. So all that coming up Friday. It's coming up this Friday, rocketprevention.org to get more information how you can be out at the golf course and having a great time and have some fun with McKenna Hassey. Now, we're not done talking about Knoxville yet. You don't want to know why? Because the trucks were at Knoxville this weekend, too, and possibly the best start in Knoxville Raceway history. Look at that number nine take off there. He saw a ripple in the green flag start to move, and he took off. Oh, boy, that number nine guy was good, at least on the start of this race here. Uh, but the Carl Chevrolet Dirt Truck Series at its annual visit at Knoxville. This is like the Truck Series Daytona, but take a look at this. That is Jeff Johnson in the 23 on the high side. Jeff Freebert, another Jeff, on the inside as they uh, just split the difference here and get around the nine heading in. This is feature number one. It's the Mark Fee Memorial is what we're talking about here. Mark Fee, a past champion uh, who has passed on since uh, that we dedicate these races to. But this was a toe-to-toe -to -toe, uh, between Johnson and Freebert going on down. But then right behind those two was another man that was just lurking in the 21. He is the points leader. That is Miles McHale. He came around and took home the victory in feature number one in the Mark Fee Memorial. This is feature number two. The, the spots were inverted again. There is Johnson, as in Jeff Johnson and Miles McHale starting right up front on this race. This is feature number two. Same length as the first one, and they're going at it. There's the number two of Freebird again. That is Brian Spangler in the 17 right there. So again, very, very tight pack was all. Brad Moyer had a chance to race in this race as well, but when it was done, same dude wins both races. Congratulations. You'll see him climbing out of his truck right there. That is Miles McHale. This guy is on a roll. A handful of victories for him right now from Fort Dodge. Congratulations to him. These are the results from race number one. You can see mentioned Brad. He finished in fourth in the race. He just truly finished in fifth. Very consistent in, in the way these. Now look at the standings. That's race number one. Now look at race number two. Just a couple of positions that were flip-flopped in race number two. Uh, second and third flip-flopped and ninth and tenth position flip-flopped there from the first race. And there is Miles showing off both his trophies. Now, trucks are racing again on Wednesday. Going to be at Stewart Speedway. Hopefully you can be there. Seven o'clock is when we start racing there. Then the trucks are going to turn around and race again on Sunday at Sports Park Raceway over in Fort Dodge. So they are going to be a lot of different places. Now, speaking of racing and racing around here, uh, the ARCA Series is going to be making its way to Iowa Speedway coming up on Friday. And these are the results from the ARCA race from past Saturday. And Chandler Smith from Venerini Motorsports wins the event on Saturday in Elko, Minnesota, the Menards 250. Uh, look at the, all the ones that say Venerini Motorsports. Why is that significant? Because we are planning on talking to the Venerini drivers on Friday morning as we broadcast live from Iowa Speedway between 9 and 10. So we look forward to that. Something else that is going on uh, over the weekend. Uh, yesterday was the Honda Indy Toronto, the IndyCar race, and Simon Pagano wins that race, our Indy 500 winner that we chatted to a couple of different times. We we are slated to talk to Simon as well because the Indy cars are coming to Iowa Speedway this weekend as well. They're racing on Saturday night. So this is going to be a busy weekend motorsports wise all around here. Indy cars at Iowa Speedway 6 p.m. is start time here. Take a look at the ARCA and the Indy schedule uh, for the weekend here. We go to the next slide here and take a look here. The ARCA race starts about 730 on Friday night. Donnie Dockin is going to be performing on the Napa stage after the race is over. So that's cool. Then the Indy car race starting at 6 p.m. Something else that is going on this week, too, that uh, I want to give you a heads up on. Uh, you heard of James Hingecliffe. What a great guy this is. He was involved in a very serious crash a while back and realized how important blood is. So there's a blood drive that's going to be going on at the Newton Club on Thursday from noon until 5. It's the Hingecliffe Challenge. They're trying to get 40 pints of blood, and if you donate a pint of blood, they're going to give you a paddock pass to the Indy race. You can go in the garage area. You can go down the pits. You can do all that if you donate blood at the Newton Club right at the track and that'll be happening on Thursday this Thursday noon to five in the afternoon Xfinity race uh, Cole Custer wins that one Kurt Busch wins the cup race and you are caught up in the world of motorsports with the Monday morning race review brought to you by the Iowa Speedway we'll see you out there as well